Shalom, and welcome back to Bnei Noach Academy, Thoughts on Life. Please remember to hit the like button, to subscribe, and most importantly, to share this insight and inspiration with friends and family. So at this time of the year, I get the question, and this has happened to me many times already, Rabbi, is it okay to put up an Xmas tree? No, not for religious reasons. Just, you know, everybody does it. It actually looks so beautiful with all the ornaments, with the lights, all the decorations. I mean, what's so bad? Is it really that bad? Is it an issue? Is it a problem? Now, if you follow the Torah, let's take a little look. What is this tree? Where does it come from? What are the origins of it? And the truth is, even Christians that are more of the purest um, persuasions will tell you that there is an issue with these trees. Yeah, everybody does it. Just because everybody does it doesn't make it right. In fact, it is rooted in paganism. So those who consider themselves true Christians and therefore they shun paganism, they don't consider themselves paganists, idol worshippers. They consider themselves a monotheistic, monotheistic religion. They will shun it. And they say it's forbidden. Well, if we look in the Torah, let's look at the sources. Take, for example, Deuteronomy. Chapter 12, verse 3. Here is the instructions what to do when you enter the land. That is the land which we know today as the Holy Land. The land of Israel. What you're supposed to do to clean it out of all of the idolatry all of the paganism. What are you supposed to do? It says you should shatter, you should destroy the altars, you should break them down, and you should break all their monuments, all the pillars, meaning all their idols. And their asherot, you should burn in fire. What is this asherah? Asherah with trees. Do you hear? Trees that were planted as a means of worship. A, they would worship the tree itself. That was a form of worship. And also under that tree, in the shade of that tree, they would put a wreck that is all kinds of idols to which they would later worship. So these trees became forbidden. These trees need to be eradicated. They need to be cut down. And they need to be burnt. Because you're not allowed to even use the wood of that tree. Because you're not allowed to benefit in any way. Notice, you know, the benefit in any way of something that smells of idolatry. Let's take now Deuteronomy, chapter 16, verse 21. Over there, again, talking about the Asherah, this forbidden tree, this idolatrous tree. And it says, Lo asherah kol eitz etzel mizbach Hashem You should not plant, that means you should not set up any asherah, any planted trees, call it any wood near the altar of God that you're going to make for you. In fact, just that you have a FYI, in the Holy Temple in Jerusalem, it was made exclusively out of stone. Exclusively out of stone to the extent that you were not allowed to quote plant, meaning fix in to the building, to the construction, any whatsoever wood. Not only are you not allowed to plant a tree, but you're not allowed to even put in any wood as a set part of the construction. The only wood that they had were beams that supported the ceiling as it was so tall, it was so high, and it was made out of stone, so it needed the support, but it was not fixed into the building. It was just supports for the building. That was the only wood that they had in the entire construction of the Holy Temple. Now, if we take this verse, this verse from chapter 16, verse 21, and we translate it homiletically, perhaps the verse is telling us not only in the Holy Temple, the Holy Temple in Jerusalem, on Mount Moriah, are you not allowed to, quote, plant, affix, set any trees, any wood? But in fact, 
in your own little temple. You know, your home is your sanctuary. That is the place where you live. That is the place perhaps we also bring life as a married couple. That's the place where you connect with God in so many different ways. You should keep that place sanctified. You should keep it holy. You should keep it pure. And God's saying is don't plant any idolatry there. Don't bring in any trees. It looks nice. I'm sure there are many idols that look beautiful. But they're still idols. They're still forbidden. Just because something looks so good and seems to be so pleasant doesn't mean it is. So yes, we need to be careful not to allow these things into our midst.